Hi, thanks for watching and welcome to another break of fast food review. And in this one, I'm going to be having a go on these. Morrison's the best. Skin on fries with rosemary and sea salt. Made with fluffy Maris pipe of potatoes, perfectly seasoned with rosemary, sea salt, garlic and black pepper with the skin on for extra flavour and crispiness. Cook from frozen in 20 minutes. British potatoes. Right, what we got here then? The best skin on fries. The best skin on fries with rosemary and sea salt are part of our premium collection. Crafted to an irresistible recipe using the finest quality ingredients to bring you a little bit of luxury every day. Right, okay. We have got some traffic lights. But we'll have a look at them in a minute. Right, so the ingredients. What are the allergens? Maize. And that is it, I think. I think maize. Oh, actually, I don't know if it is in bold. Hard to say whether maize is in bold or not. Where is it? I think they do normally um, list maize as an allergen, don't they? I don't think that is in bold on there. Right, okay then. So no allergens according to the packaging. There's the nutritionals if you want to have a look at them. And we'll just go over them. Or we'll quickly go over the calories anyway. So per 100 grams, that's 231 calories per 100. Now these traffic lights, so they're suitable for vegetarian. Why wouldn't they be suitable for vegan then? What's in the ingredients? Potato rapeseed oil, modified potato starch, maize flour, rice flour, potato starch, spices, black pepper, nutmeg, rosemary, flavoring, Flavorings, garlic, onion, sea salt, yeast at extract and thickener. Um, what is that? Guar gum. Is that what is not friendly to vegans then? The guar gum. Or gur gum, whatever. I've got no idea how you pronounce that. Yeah, so there's nothing obvious there, is there? I don't think. Why vegans can't have these? Very odd. Right, let's get back to that traffic light. So, cool, that is small, that is. So a quarter of a pack, which is 86 grams, you got an amber, which is fat at 6.8 grams, Saturates is a green, 0 0.7 of a gram. Sugars is a green at 0 0.3 of a gram. And salt, which is an amber, is 0 0.46 of a gram. Right, okay, cooking instructions. We'll just go over that before we do the price then. Um, what is the cooking instructions? Oven 220 degrees, fan 200, 16 to 20 minutes. Ah, now I just want to just mention something on this review. Now, last time out on the something sweet, I did the goo, another goo hot pot. Now, during the review, I didn't really twig it, but during the editing phase, I noticed that maybe it was slightly undercooked. I did it to the instructions. It was very um, 
like precise it must only be in for 10 minutes do not cook it any longer than 10 minutes it said so i did it exactly how it told told you to do it and then the review is the rue if you haven't seen it yet please go on the something sweet playlist and you'll find it um but looking back at it i think it was slightly undercooked and also i did the i think it was good fellas um pizza pocket things and they were definitely undercooked even though i'd done them slightly longer than the instructions are saying so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna re-review them but it's gonna be a very short sharp snappy review without any of this reading out all the back packaging and all that it will literally just i'll cook it i'll get them cooked before i even start filming um so it'll literally be five minute videos and it'll be a take two, something like that. Just to see if if the scores alter, if I can, you know, get them cooked to how I think they should be and then I'll score them again. But um, so look out for that. But them videos will be like bonus videos. They won't like take up a slot of a regular review. So when i put them out there'll be two videos go out each day for those when i put them out so they'll probably be happening within the next month anyway right and going forward any reviews i have like that i will redo them right now where was i cooking instructions so that was tw 16 to 20 minutes so let's say 20 minutes uh my chart so eight minute preheat it's gonna cost me 24 pence in my oven. Price, so we've got 600 grams and it cost, where is it? One pound 79 for 600 grams. So that, you know, I mean, it's, I suppose it's sort of, well, for what they are, it's value for money. But if you would just buy normal chips and fries, like Safeway ones, not Safeway, I always call these Safeway. Morrison's, that's because years ago, Safeway used to be in the building that Morrison's are in now. Um, so I quite often call them Safeway, and yet that was probably 25 years ago they were in there, if not longer. Now, yeah, so nah, pretty good value for money in it. 600 grams, £1.79. You can't complain at that. Right, guys, I think it's time to fire up the oven and get some food on the plate. Okay, guys, here they are. Here is the chips, or oh, skin on fries. Right, they do smell a bit garlicky. They, well, actually, they smelt more garlicky before I cooked them. Let's take a look at one. Come on, focus in. Let's try to get my face, I think. Yeah, they look all right. Right, let's taste one. Oh yeah. Crunchy on the outside, nice and soft and fluffy on the inside really fluffy mm. they are cooked just right yeah there's not I can't so I taste the salt too much I mean you can't see any salt on there I 
supposed to be sea salt, aren't they? I can't so I can taste that too much, if at all. Very slight hint of garlic and rosemary. Without a doubt, me being me, it's time to put the vinegar on. Apple cider vinegar I use, organic with the mother. Oh, lovely. And I put loads on as well. God. Right, let's try them with just vinegar first. Then we'll put some salt on. Go on. Oh, I love vinegar. Oh, they're really nice, they are. Mmm. I... I quite often cook chips myself in the air fryer, like homemade chips, and I always use mouse pipe with potatoes. You can't go wrong with them. Right, let's put some salt on. Right, here we go. God, look at that, nice. Nice bit of salt on there. Lovely old jubbly. Hmm. Oh yeah, really nice. Right, well if you've seen any of my videos before where chips are involved, always have to have a chip butty. I love chip butties. Whoa, we're losing one. Blimey, boo boo. He never clocked that. He would have been over it like a flash if he'd have seen that. <laughs> God, look at that. Oh, now I suppose with these, you probably could have a garlic dip or something with them. Like before you go putting all vinegar and that on them. But me being me, give me just loads of vinegar and pink salt, I'm happy. Mm. Cool. These cheese rolls they do in, um, in these supermarkets, God, they're nice. The actual cheese is baked into the bread. And then ones what just cheese on the top, it is actually I don't think you can see it. But oh, that's so nice. I think you can just see it on that edge there. Oh, I love these rolls. And they last as well. I mean, I bought this now Sunday and I bought these Friday morning. They're still really fresh. So yeah. Mmm. Really good. Right, okay, let's give it a score. Now, I've not done any chips or fries before. So this is going straight to the top. If you're new to the channel, my scoring system is, I try to like, like work from an eight, either go up or down from an eight. So an eight, to get an eight, it's got to be tasty and I'd buy it again. So it's got to, you know, if it's too expensive for what it is, it'll get below an eight, no matter how tasty it is. So 
Is it tasty? Yes, really tasty. They're really nice and light and fluffy. Um, it just, just how you'd want them. The seasoning on there, the rosemary, the garlic, only a hint, it's not overpowering, it is just right. And it's perfect, so you can add other things to it, like more salt and like vinegar. Absolutely fine. Now, money-wise, they were under two pound. What were they? One seventy-nine, weren't they? One seventy-nine for a six hundred gram bag. That's definitely. I mean, you can buy like supermarket brand chips, fries cheaper than that. Um, but these are just a little bit better than them. Um, you get in Maris Point with potatoes for a start. So yeah, so I'd definitely buy them again. I'm gonna give this a solid 8.5. So that's going top of the leaderboard, 8.5. There we go, right. Okay guys, now later tonight, I will be filming uh, a bit of an odd something sweet uh, video. It's not like a normal one. I got cold called last week um, over the phone and I ended up buying some coffee and some biscuits. Although I didn't buy the biscuits, but I'll tell the story. I have got a little bit of history with this company as well. So I'll tell that story, what happened, and I'll try the products in that uh, video. Now that will go out um, a day after this, if you're watching it on, if you're watching this on day of release. So yeah, looking forward to doing that one actually. So that'll be later on tonight. I do that. Right, guys. Boo Boo's been good. He's over there, good as gold. Don't know what's up with him. Normally, as soon as I get stuff out, he's getting his snozzler involved. What a sniff everything out and see what he can get hold of. Good as gold today. Don't know what's up with him. Bob's over there as well with him. They're thick as thieves, them two. Anyway, guys, that is another Fast Broken by a Food Review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll catch me again soon on another video. Take care, guys. What are you two up to? <laughs> They're not interested in these. <laughs> I am old, lovely, old jubbly. Mm.